for the communication link uh, program first you have to open matlab after opening the matlab go to simulink simulink icon which is available in the main main menu click this so it will open the simulink uh, start page in that first create a new blank model okay in the uh, old version it will be uh, shown in the uh, main menu of the simulink page so in that file uh, click file and then uh, new um, and then click model okay so you can create a new blank model here it is shown as a blank model so i'm going to create a new blank model double click it so it will open the new model okay so the, similar to the uh, p spice environment uh, where you can put all the um, blocks or the components which are required for circuit similar to that you can uh, put the similar blocks here and then you can connect it after connecting uh, uh, if you give input it will work and uh, the output can be obtained okay so in the same model we are going to do this so here this is the simulink um, blank model okay so in this um, you have to search the uh, model blocks from the library browser okay in the old version of the matlab it will be available in the uh, left side so uh, there you can search the uh, block sets otherwise if any library browser is there click this library browser it will show all the uh, block sets which are available toolboxes which are available in the summer link okay so from this uh, toolboxes you have to select the uh, blocks which are required right in uh, um, all uh, you have to do the steps which is given uh, steps which are given in the uh, manual right do each and every step as given in the manual okay don't skip any step then you can get the output uh, without any error okay so now i am going to do the third step right third step go to communication block set communication sources select random data sources okay so here communication toolbox is available here click this and then communication sources click this and here data random sources click this under this you can see different blocks so here select the random integer generator okay so random data source that is random data uh, generator so click this and drag it and drop it in the model do you understand drag it click panni drag panni kondu vandu inge podanum okay so random integer generator um, is moved to the model blank model right now we are going to set the properties of this model for setting the properties double click it okay otherwise you right click and then select the block parameters okay now i'm going to double click it so it will open the block parameters window in this you have to set the parameters as it is given in the manual okay so here the set size instead of this 8 i am going to set this as 2 that is here uh, 2 indicates m is equal to 2 we are going to um, develop a communication link model uh, using uh, binary pam right m is equal to 2 only binary pam modulator and demodulator are going to be used in order to transmit the information from the transmitted data to side to receiver side okay so that uh, so that i am setting this as at size as 2 right and then another parameter is initial seed is to be set as initial seed so here in the source seed if you set if you select parameter then it will show the initial seed below this now set the initial seed as 37 which is given which is given in the um, manual right initial seed to 37 and then sampling time to 0.1 right 0.1 okay and then sample per for a prem is 1 uh, and then output data type to double so already it is uh, double is there now after setting all these parameters you have to click apply and then give okay then only all the parameters will be set for this block is it clear apply and then give okay now let us come to the uh, next step 
fourth step right fourth step is communication block set again go to communication toolbox block set means here toolbox only and then click uh, select modulation so here modulation select it and then under this digital baseband modulation select this and then here you are going to select MRA PAM modulator baseband okay MRA PAM so here PAM is available if you move this you can see MRA PAM modulator right modulator select modulator drag it and then put it in the model okay first you drag all the components blocks and then put it in the model then you can give connections right between the blocks so here after putting this uh, four array uh, this um, block uh, named as 4 pam we are going to change this as uh, 2 array pam right so here uh, double click it it will open the block parameters now now change this value 4 as 2 okay 4 as 2 and then input data type integer and then constellation ordering to binary okay so uh, next uh, normalization method is uh, peak uh, power method and then peak power watts to 1 and then samples per symbol to 1 which is uh, not available in this uh, version if it is available in the previous version you can set that as uh, samples per symbol as 1 okay then click apply and then click ok now the parameters are set since that you have to complete all the um, blocks you have to put the next block is uh, channel because uh, after source we have a modulator so after modulator we need to have a channel so here we have to select the channel again go to communication toolbox in that select channel now we are going to use AWGN channel drag it and drop it in the model okay so after channel what will you have uh, what you need to have uh, demodulator right after setting the parameters of AWGN so in the same way double click it you can set the parameters okay um, as initial seed and then mod uh, mode to signal to noise ratio everything you need to set in the same way so after that you need to have um, uh, a demodulator so select the demodulator from the again communication toolbox right for that go to modulation uh, is modulation in the digital baseband modulation in the same uh, MR PAM right PAM you will have a demodulator block select it drag it and drop it right demodulator this is MRA PAM demodulator drop it here okay so they set the parameters of this demodulator also as we did for modulator and then the next step is uh, sync right which is uh, the uh, destination so the sync is to be select from the communication block set again go to communication block set in that uh, communication sync is available communication sync in that uh, select error rate calculation right because here we are going to transmit information and we are going to calculate how many number of bits are transmitted and how many number of bits are uh, uh, um, wrongly transmitted that means uh, when you transmit the information uh, through AWGN channel, AWGN channel, uh, the property of the AWGN channel will uh, is uh, adding uh, noise with the uh, data, is it not? So when the noise is added with the data, then the uh, in the receiver side, the demodulator may produce errors in the data reconstruction. So you'll have some error. So here we are going to calculate: uh, is there any uh, number of uh, any error happens in the transmission? and uh, the how many number of bits are errored okay that's why we need a error rate calculator here so put this error rate calculator after demodulator right so this is the main block diagram right this is the main block diagram we have a source or a modulator or a channel demodulator and then error rate calculation this is overall block diagram and here we are going to see what are all the waveforms produced by the modulator and uh, channel output and then demodulator output everything we are going to see so now we are going to provide display items right display items so here this display items can be selected from the simulink uh, 
சிமலிங்கோட ஒரிஜினல் சிங்கிலேருந்து எடுக்கணும் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியார் கோ டு தி சிமலிங்க் விச் இஸ் அவைலபிள் அட் த டாப் இங்கே போயிட்டு அதோட சிங்க் எடுக்கணும் கம்யூனிகேஷன் பிளாக் செட்டில் இருக்கிறது இல்லை சிமலிங்கோட சிங்கில் இருக்கு டிஸ்பிளே இஸ் ரெக்வயர்ட் ஃபார் இண்டிகேட்டிங் தி எரஸ் ரைட் எத்தனை நம்பர் ஆஃப் பிட் எரர் ஆச்சு எத்தனை நம்பர் ஆஃப் பிட் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிட் பண்ணும் ஸோ என்னோட டூ டிஸ்பிளே வி நீட் டு ஹாவ் அ டிஸ்பிளே இந்த டிஸ்பிளேல ஒரே ஒரு பாக்ஸ் தான் இருக்கு ஹியர் வி நீட் டு டிஸ்பிளே த்ரீ ஐட்டம்ஸ் டிஸ்பிளே பண்ண போகிறோம் இந்த நம்பர் ஆஃப் பிட்ஸ் எரர் எத்தனை எத்தனை பிட்டுக்கு எத்தனை பிட்டு எரர் ஆச்சு வாட் இஸ் தி எரர் ரேட் அதனால் அதை கொஞ்சம் பெருஸ் பண்ணி இழுத்து வச்சுக்கோங்க ஓகே அண்ட் தென் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு பிளாட் தி ஸ்கேட்டர் பிளாட் ஸ்கேட்டர் பிளாட் யூஸ் பண்ணி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு பிளாட் தி நம்பர் ஆஃப் சிக்னல் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இன் தி சிக்னல் கன்ஸ்டலேஷன் டயக்ராம் ஸோ ஃபார் தேட் வி நீட் டு ப்ரொவைட் அ ஸ்கேட்டர் பிளாட் விச் இஸ் அவைலபிள் இன் தி கம்யூனிகேஷன் பிளாக் செட்டில் இருக்கு அதுக்கு அதுக்கு முன்னாடி இந்த சிமிலிங்கில் மேத் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் இன் ஆர்டர் டு கேல்குலேட் தி பாஸ்பெக்டல் டென்சிட்டி கேல்குலேட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு மேத் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸில் சிமிலிங்க்லேருந்து வி கேன் செலக்ட் தி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் டு ரியல் இமேஜினரி அதை செலக்ட் பண்ணிக்கணும் அதுக்கு எக்ஸ் ஒய் கிராஃப் வேணும் ஸ்கோப் வேணும் ஓகே ஸோ எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் டு பி புட் அதில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்த நைன்த் ஸ்டெப் டென்த் ஸ்டெப் லெவன்த் ஸ்டெப் அண்ட் டுவெல்த் ஸ்டெப் இது எல்லாமே வந்து ஃப்ரம் தி சிமிலிங்க் பிளாக் ரைட் டென் லெவன் டுவெல் அண்ட் வி நீட் டு ப்ரோ ப்ரொவைட் அ டூ காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் டு ரியல் இமேஜினரி அண்ட் டூ எக்ஸ் ஒய் கிராஃப் அண்ட் டூ ஸ்கோப் மாடியூல்ஸ் ஓகே டூ ஸ்கோப் மாடியூல்ஸ் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் த சிங்க் சிமிலிங் சிங்க் ட்ராக் அண்ட் ட்ராப் டூ ஸ்கோப்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் டூ எக்ஸ் ஒய் கிராஃப் டூ எக்ஸ் ஒய் கிராஃப் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் டூ காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் டு ரியல் இமேஜினரி விச் இஸ் அவைலபிள் இன் தி மேத் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ஓகே மேத் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் where it is available under the similar link there, are, there is a math operation so here you need to uh, drag and drop complex to real imaginary which is required to complex to real imaginary is required okay and then uh, from similar link extras so similar link extras the uh, 13th step right 13th step is similar link extras which is available at the bottom of this okay simulink extras so from the simulink extras select additional sinks okay simulink extras select additional sink additional sink in that um, power spectral density power spectral density so put this power spectral density block into this it is also two phospectal densities are required for us right after um, dragging and dropping all these modules we need to connect it right the connection is um which should be given as in the block diagram right you can see the simulink model uh, block diagram on the next page in the manual so as given in the simulink uh, block diagram you need to give connections so how to give connections uh, you can uh, select the um, uh, source and then if you want to connect this um, press control and then press the next one automatically it will connect okay this is one method otherwise you can just connect like this click and then uh, connect the two points drag and then Uh, join two points okay so there are many methods are available you can find uh, the method which is possible to you in your system okay so give connections as per the diagram right we have set all the parameters and one more um, setting is required that setting is for the error rate calculation because here from the error rate calculation we need to connect the display right in order to display the error but in the error rate calculation block there is no output terminal so we need to include the port here so for that double click it in the properties right in the properties um, the output data right output data it shows workspace so here we are going to change it as port 
if you set this as port and then apply click ok automatically the port of the port will be available output port will be available in the error rate calculation now join this with this uh, the display right with the display so that it, it will display the errors number of errors and number of bits okay and then after uh, giving all the connections you need to set one more setting that is simulation setting right so simulation setting uh, for setting the simulation parameters that is uh, the stop time what is the uh, starting time okay for that uh, uh, go to simulation setting and then set the parameters right so here i am going to set the uh, parameters um it is available in the no uh, simulink parameters is just just a minute yes here configure simulation stepping stepping method where it is it is available here um, configuration and simulation model setting so in the model setting you have to set the parameters for the simulation start time is 0.0, .0 and uh, stop time uh, set this is 100 okay 100.0 100.0 and then uh, variable type solver se selection you need to set this as variable step and then auto solver is to be selected sorry sorry here uh, discrete no continuous state must be selected as uh, solver type and then may a maximum step size under the solver detail as set auto okay now click apply and then okay now you can run this uh, model yeah, and then it will uh, display all the uh, graphs as well as the errors right so here I am going to already uh, I have given connections and I have developed a model. I am going to open that so that you can easily see uh, how it is to be executed, right? So here, just a minute, I'll open. So this is already uh, opened the model. Okay, now I'm going to run this model. Run this model. For this, click Run. Run button is available. Click Run button. Automatically, it will run the program and it will show display the graphs. Okay, is it clear? So you can see the pass spectral density and uh, the uh, pass spectral density which is drawn with the, in terms of degree as well as the magnitude. Okay. And uh, this is for the source and uh, this is for the destination end. That is after modulator and after demodulator. Right. So here before modulator the source um, pass spectral density is drawn and after demodulator this, uh, the signal pass spectral density is plotted here ok so you will have two graphs similarly the constellation diagram before um, the channel and after the channel right how the changes ha uh, happened in the uh, uh, position of the constellation points ok you can see uh, the difference right here an yellow point is there right some uh, the position change will be available after the uh, information is transmitted through the channel because of the noise added with this the position may be changed because of that we can get errors right okay so let us see uh, how many number of errors here this uh, 1001 indicates the number of uh, bits transmitted and um, out of which uh, no error has happened okay that's all so you need to plot the waveforms in the graph sheet and uh, submit it after uh, executing this program okay thank you